Over the past few decades, 3D has both come and went, most recently being a phenomenon 10 years ago, with various forms of entertainment trying to grow its popularity. Today though, it's once again being left in the dust. Why is that so? Well, let's take a look back at the very weird history of 3D. film can be dated all the way back to the late 1890s with a patent made by William Frenskeen. His patent involved a stereoscope in which a user would look through to see two films side by side. The earliest film known to have some form of 3D would be 1922's Power of Love. Unfortunately, both the 3D and 2D footage seemed to be non-existent, but it worked with anaglyphic colors that you would be used to seeing when you think of 3D. 3D technology really began taking off though in the mid-50s with films like House of Wax and Buona Devil, which became the first 3D film in color by Arch Ogler. This film truly changed the game and was breaking box office records even in the light of negative press. This is when big studios like Disney, Universal, and Paramount would give 3D a shot. Moving into the 60s, 3D's popularity wasn't as big as it was before, but still had a unique film come out called The Mask. It was a film that was a mix of both 2D and 3D. The only time that there were 3D scenes is when the main character would put on his mask. This is also when the audience would put on their 3D glasses. The biggest change to 3D in the 60s though came from producer and screenwriter Ark Obler, that same guy that made Buona Devil from earlier. He would release a film called The Bubble with a new technology called Space Vision. This technology not just improved 3D itself, but also made it easier to present for theaters. In the past, you'd need two projectors to produce 3D, but with Space Vision, they used one. All you'd have to do with Space Vision is just project two images above one another. Moving into the early 80s, 3D once again would pop up again with films like Jaws 3D and Friday the 13th Part 3. Although many of these films in the 80s weren't exactly successful critically, they seemed to try and emphasize a lot on the 3D aspect. Later on though in the decade, projection camera and theater company IMAX would change the game once again with their 3D technology. Once again jumping two decades more into the 2000s, 3D hype was growing once again with films like James Cameron's documentary on the Titanic and Robert Zemeckis' film The Polar Express, which had most of its box office earnings from IMAX theaters. This is one of the things that got companies once again to see a potential for 3D. The 2000s seemed to have the biggest list of 3D films since the 50s but it felt like some films were really just using 3D as a gimmick, once again like there were some in the 80s. But later in the decade with the release of Avatar and its stunning effects and major box office, the 3D hype train would truly start moving. Other industries outside of Hollywood also saw 3D as the future, especially the television market. Many digital flat screens tried to show off that you could watch 3D at home. Some even saw the possibility of having 3D TV channels. This hype would continue on into the super early 2010s, with other devices trying to have 3D on it like smartphones, and even Nintendo with the 3DS. By 2013 though, 3D TVs were out of style, and so was 3D. Movie theaters would still continue to use 3D and even 4D to get more people into theaters in the first place. This is because ticket sales for theaters were declining ever since the early 2000s, and theaters needed some incentive for people to come in. The only piece of 3D technology that has seemed to survive out of all of this is the 3DS, but that wasn't even because of the 3D technology mostly. Today, 3D is more successful in the attractions department at places like theme parks, especially if industries trying to focus more on AR and VR technology. The future of 3D once again, as it once was in the 70s and 90s, today seems like it's non-existent. The only home it has is at some movie theaters and at theme parks. And I'm not so sure that Avatar 2 will be able to bring back 3D as it once did in the past. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.